You're listening to the Law of Attraction Radio Network. International success coach and noted author, Constance Arnold, delivers life-changing strategies through her own spiritual practices, as well as with best-selling authors and experts that she interviews. Think, Believe, and Manifest is specially designed to empower your mind and words to work for you and to bring about a life you've been dreaming of. And now, here's Constance Arnold. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Law of Attraction Radio Network. And of course, I am Constance Arnold, the host of the Think, Believe, and Manifest talk show. And today I am broadcasting from a little cloudy Atlanta, Georgia. But guess what? I'm so excited that you made a decision to join me from all over the world. And, you know, as I say every week, I believe that after listening to this show today, that your life will radically change change and it will never ever ever be the same again well how are you doing Uh, i'm doing really really good Uh, god is good Uh, life is great and uh, i'm excited about the show i got some uh goodies for you today so where do i start i i must start with thanking all of you for all of your cards emails texts gifts money i mean everything that i receive uh, during my brother's transition and uh, people ask me how am i doing uh, uh I, i'm going through the process and allowing myself to do that uh, I have feelings about it. Uh, he had a powerful, we call it a home going ceremony. And I did not know the powerful impact that my brother had in the community and his church. He founded ministries. Uh, he had an organization for the disabled. I mean, everybody in the church, they were just crying and weeping, but really rejoicing. And so I did speak at his funeral or at his home going. And when I got up there, I said I could not feel sad. And I couldn't. And so if you want to see some great pictures, just go to fulfillingyourpurpose.com and click on my blog and you can see some pictures of myself, my nieces. So thank all of you in my life. All is well. And I'm going to say this in life. You need people. I had people that supported me, that drove me from Atlanta and, and, and the grace of God. See, your own mind and your own will is not enough, uh, sir and my dear in in these deep situations or it never is in any situation so that's where I am with that so thank all of you and then so many people are saying well you know I wanted to give a donation well if you want to give a donation uh, in memory of my brother or or if you just want to give one anyway because this show has blessing you because I know it is because I only bring you bring you top quality premium guests every week you can go to my website and uh, uh, click on my paypal or now you can use cash app and my name is dollar sign constance arnold what else okay social media here we go again uh instagram cl arnold one one uh facebook is coach with constance twitter is loa constance and then you guys have got to go to my youtube Constance Arnold, boy, we got some gifts for you today just by going and subscribing to my YouTube channel. And lastly, you've got to sign up for the cruise. April the 8th through the 13th, going out of New Orleans, we're going to Cozumel. Already done bought me a new swimsuit. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be on the beach getting more of a tan. And I understand that the rates have gone down. You still have time. Go to LOARadioNetwork.com. Or if you have a question, uh, email me at Constance at FulfillingYourPurpose.com. And I can uh, refer you to Jules or the Cruise Planner. And let's make it happen. Just set your intention and let's roll with it. Okay, so we're going to be talking about I'm here with my friend Pete Adams. We're coming back after these quick commercials. And boy, we got a big surprise for you. So stay tuned. Do you have an upcoming event where you need a dynamic speaker? Constance Arnold is a sought after keynote speaker that will enlighten the entire audience with proven strategies that are aligned with your organization's vision and mission. 
an experienced speaker for major Fortune 500 companies, Constance has entertained audiences with inspiring change. Constance would love to make your next event an extraordinary success. Contact her today at Constance at FulfillingYourPurpose.com. For the past 30 years, Constance Arnold has coached clients globally in the areas of relationships, wealth, and career. Her vast clinical background gives her extraordinary understanding of human behavior to accelerate manifestation. Every coaching client receives proven action plans to create change from the inside out. Constance will be right by your side. Talk to her today at Constance at FulfillingYourPurpose.com. Okay, guys, I'm back with my dear friend, Pete Adams. And, you know, I guess since my brother's transition, I might be a little serious. I just understand the power of relationships. But I called Pete and I said, Pete, I don't know if I'm up to doing a show by myself. You know, just the emotional and psychological draining. He said, Constance, I got you. So really, he helped put the show together today mostly. And, uh, hey, I'm just following him today a little bit. And that's what you need friends for. Uh, You know, you need people in your life. Big companies understand that. They understand the power of merger. And and, uh, Pete and Robin Adams are true friends. I mean, he don't ever have to work a day in his life. All he got to do is ski and whatever else they do, uh, snow skiing or whatever, shoe snow skiing, whatever that is. Uh, that they do and just relax and chill, but they're all about giving back. And so today we're going to be talking about how the power of reading to bring you success and wealth. So Pete Adams, welcome back to the Law of Attraction Radio Network. Oh, thanks for having me back on, Clance. It's, it's always a it's always a great uh, thrill for me, and it's always a lot of fun because I know that so many of your listeners get a massive benefit from your show, and I'm just uh, I'm just blessed to be fortunate enough to be on your show again. So, um, looking forward to it. Let's have a great show. Well, thank you for what well, how you've been there for me. Oh, you're welcome, Constance. You know, I, I appreciate I mean, you're a real macho man. Are you an alpha male? Uh, so, but I appreciate that. Okay, I hope it's not a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so, so, Pete, we're going to be talking about the power of reading or how being a lifelong learner equals success and wealth. And so... Tell our audience what we're going to be doing and what our gift is going to be. Okay, super, Constance. I'd love to. The, um, actually, uh, what, I, what I, I did was Constance and I came up with 10 Law of Attraction classics. And one of the things that you'll notice from anyone who's achieved lifelong success is they are big-time readers all the time. It's just the, one of the things you need to do is you need to um, stay focused on – what you're doing as far as working with the law of attraction. So one of the ways I stay motivated, I know Constance does as well, is we constantly read classic law of attraction, spiritual books. And, um, you know, and, and I can, it's funny when I was putting the list together, Constance, I was going back and I remember the very first book I, that I read, um, it was called the magic of believing by Claude Bristol. And if you, the folks who have already read my book, Visual Festation, and if you haven't, uh, you, if, if you want to read it or you want to listen to it online, please just visit my YouTube channel where all three of my books are, are there for free as audio books. So I, I invite you to come on board. So uh, <clears throat> to talk about the uh, magical believing real quick. But, okay. Oh, so, go ahead. so before we get to that, Pete, what are we going to give people? Oh, I thought we were going to wait to the end. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Gonna, okay. Gonna wait to the end. okay. No, no, the cat's out of the bag now. We got to oh, do sorry. it because okay. they'll, they'll, they'll be going crazy. Okay. 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 Me and okay. my big mouth. I okay. Well, I, yeah, I thought we'd do it at the end. But uh, anyways, sorry, Ms. Constance. Okay, guys, this is what Constance and I are going to give for you um, as a special gift. If you will go and subscribe to Constance's YouTube channel and also subscribe to mine, uh, and if you guys are already subscribers, just drop me an email uh, at uh, visualfestation at gmail.com. And what Constance and I are going to give you as a gift are actually 27 
27 wow. free Law of Attraction ebooks, And these are wow. some of the ones we're going to talk about today. Wow. I mean, some of the big ones, that, you know, the Master Key System by Charles Hano, Creative Mind and Success by Ernest Holmes, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This is just, that's just three of the, of the 27. So um, just this, this free gift package of eBooks uh, is enough to get you going and keep you busy for the pretty much the rest of your lifetime. So uh, we're pretty, we're pretty happy to be able to do this for, um, you know, all the listeners that support Consciousness of the show. And um, yeah. And if you want to get these great free books, just like I said, uh, subscribe to Consciousness channel in my YouTube channel and uh, just email me and just say, you know, LOA books, Constance, in the subject line, and uh, we'll get the uh, the link out to you so you can download all of these books to your phone or computer. Wow. And so, Pete, what's your YouTube channel again? Yeah, you just, uh, it's Visual Festation. So okay. if you just Google Pete Adams or Visual Festation YouTube, you're going to find it. It's pretty, you know, you'll see right. me. It'll be pretty easy. And so mine is Constance Arnold. I mean, who does that? Who who, who gives away twenty seven free ebooks? Come on, only, people. Oh yeah, right. I think only cool people like Constance Arnold. And uh, you guys are blessed for listening to this show because you know if you had to buy these things off of Amazon, it, it'd be like five hundred bucks or more. So it's right. uh, it's a heck of a gift. And and it's called the power of giving. And let me just say this. You know, I, I, I maybe I'm kind of serious, Pete, because of what I just went through. But 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 giving is powerful. And, and one of the quickest ways to get what you want is to give to somebody else. Not that you're giving to get something, but I'm just saying it's a universal law. Uh, and, and so that's why we're doing this. So tell your friends about it. But we can see who has subscribed. And so when you finish subscribing, you're going to send Peter email at visualfestation at gmail.com. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. All, all right. So here we go. We're talking about 10 books that you can begin to read that will begin to bring uh, success, abundance, and wealth in your life. Okay, Pete, let's roll. What we're going to start with first. Okay, great. Well, you know, there's countless wonderful uh, works out there, but we uh, we kind of you know picked basically picked ten that we thought mm -hmm. were really powerful. And uh, what's really pretty cool about a lot of these books is they've all been around for you know around a hundred years or so. Yeah. So so it's not you know for the most part it's nothing new, and that's the whole thing about the the laws of of, of the universe. They've all been here since the beginning of time. Nothing changes. The way it works is the same today as it was a hundred years ago. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so let's get, we'll get started. The, the the first book that I want to talk about, Constance, is uh, it's called The Magic of Believing by Claude Bristol, uh, and it was written in 1932, back in the Depression. Mm. And um, what was really cool about this book for me was um, this is the very first book that I read that was, um, you know, like Law of Attraction. For the most part, honestly, Constance, I didn't know about. I wasn't calling it the law of attraction until about 2005 or six, something like that. So back in the beginning, uh, this book, I, I read this one when I was at my, uh, I was in the dumps. It was right before, you know, things started changing my life, and I, I was just totally frustrated. And um, this book basically it, it talked about the power of, of of believing, and you know, and believing, you know, basically in your ability to work with God. So it's just like you know, it gave countless examples of people who, you know, had, pray, you know, prayed and, and manifested. And the coolest thing about, I liked about this book was uh, it gave me hope. And, mm. You know, that was the first book I read. And I'm like, you know what, this, you know, my life can change. And um, it was, it was just, it was awesome because it was like the right time. It was just, it was just what I needed to hear or when I, you know, when I read that book. So if any of you guys have, you know, big challenges or, you need something big, a big change in life. Um, this is a great book to st get started with. Well, you know, what I like about the book also was, which most all of the books talk about, you know, the power of your thoughts and how to begin to project your thoughts and your mental pictures only on what you desire. And that's just like a common thread 
in, in all of the books that we're going to be sharing about Pete and and how, like Pete said, God, these are universal fixed laws that God put in place, you know, you know, at the foundation of the world. And so all you have to do is read these books tap into it get a revelation of it and begin to see your life change exactly it, got, it was like you said earlier too constance before we got on the call um guys it's it's not just about reading these books it's about taking action and changing your life because you know i've met people before that you know they've read all the self-help stuff that's out there and they just read books and their life doesn't change. So, you know, don't be, don't be, don't be just a reader. Be somebody who takes action, and and you you will get results. You can't help but get results because it's a law of the universe. Well, you know, and and usually when I read a book, Pete, I read it and then I go back and reread it and take notes and like, ah, okay, this is one area that I need to change. Uh, oh, I need to read this a little bit carefully. And, you know, I'm like old school. Sometimes I still like to have my book in my hand. I got Kindle. I have all that because I want to highlight it in red, yellow, green, and then go back and ask the spirit to really help me in this area. So really, it's more than just reading is getting a revelation of uh, everlasting truth. Oh, that's perfect, Constance. I know just what you're, you're describing because it's almost like uh, an aha moment. It's sometimes yeah. you just, you'll just see this one sentence and it's just like, wow, now I get it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what's the next book we're going to share? Okay, Constance, I, this is one of my uh, favorite books. Um, you'll, you're probably going to hear me say that a like hundred times. I, I apologize <laughs> up front because this this book, uh, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph Murphy. Oh, my God. Uh, th- yeah, that was, you know, th- that was the, the very next book I read um, uh, after I read The Magic of Believing. In fact, I, Constance, I actually took these two books out the, at the exact same time from the library, and it was just by chance that I read The Magic of Believing first. So then um, I read I read through this book, and if you, if you guys haven't read the Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph Murphy, well you, you know you better you know hope, you better buckle your seatbelt mm-hmm. because it was just like example after example of how do you focus your thought to manifest. And there were people, extraordinary examples in his book about peop, different people using these principles, which again are laws of the universe, and getting tangible results i mean i read this thing and honestly constance something changed in me i can i don't know really how to explain it but it was just like i read these two books and i when i got done with the power of your subconscious mind i'm just like if they can do it i can do it and i did it so that's when all the stuff that came about later in, when i wrote about in visual festation about things that i manifested it was just like I was just like another example in Dr. Joseph Murphy's book. This book is phenomenal. I, I, I honestly, Constance, I don't know how many times I've read some of these things, but it's almost sometimes uh, I ha- most of these books I've had on audio tape or actually CDs I used to listen to in my car when I sold real estate. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's like I, I'm getting to the point. Like, some of the stuff I listen to so much, I was actually um, I knew what the next sentence in the book was going to be. That's how <laughs> how well I knew it. I'm not, and I'm serious about that. Yeah, I know. You know, I love it that he really breaks down what's the conscious mind and what's the subconscious. He really breaks it down. So all of you guys, you know, once you you you'll get that one of those free eBooks from us once you subscribe. But he breaks down that like the subconscious mind is like the dark room in which. Uh, it, it begins to develop whatever you habitually think and feel because we know that the subconscious mind's response to habit and habitual thinking. And, and, and so he talks a lot so that you understand you may consciously say, I want wealth and abundance, but your subconscious is the one that's doing the work. And, and he really breaks it down so that you learn how to change your subconscious, how to in, impact it uh, habitually by what you feel, say, and think, and then uh, tattooing those images on. And I love it. 
Oh yeah, a, a phenomenal book. And <clears throat> like you said, Cons, about the uh, the subconscious mind versus the conscious mind. And one of the great techniques you talked about is you know right before you go to sleep is like you know working on you know, what you desire and mm-hmm. putting yourself. So while you're sleeping, your subconscious is out there creating for you, which is awesome. Yeah. And, and so we're sharing these 10 books and we know even the Bible says, don't just be a hearer of the word, be a doer. And I don't know what the stats are, Pete, but I think most people just hardly read anymore. And you can read in or listen because a scientist are saying it's still the same. But if you want change, your whole life needs to be immersed in wealth, abundance, success, what you desire. You know, people were asking me, well, how do you feel? And I said, well, you know, I feel sad about my brother, but because I have immersed my life in what I do every week, you know what I'm saying, Pete? And and and, and with my relationship with God, it there wasn't a lot of room for sadness, if you get me. Oh, but t- I to- Constance, I totally understand what you're saying because it- it's like every now and then it's like I'll, you know, I'll hit, I'll hit a speed bump. But what's so you know what's so good about it is where I do this every single day. I have gratitude every single day. I do my hour of power every single day. And like you said, you know, there's no mu- there's not much room there for anything uh, yeah. negative to come in. It's almost like a force field of positivity where it's just like. You know, even you know, you know, suffering the you know, going through the the loss of the transition of your brother is a really tough time, but it it gets over short quickly uh, because you know you are so positive. So you know, and like Constance said, guys, um, this isn't something you just kind of read about. This is something you uh, totally immerse yourself in, just like Constance said, and it's just like this becomes how you live your life. Yeah, it's a lifestyle. Perfect. It's it's who you are. Yeah, you know, exactly. It's not yeah, exactly. It's who you are, Constance. That's perfect. It's it's who you are. Not some of the time, all of the time. Yeah, so true. Okay, Pete, who who are we gonna talk about next? Ooh, this is an amazing book. Um, it's called As a Man Thinketh Ooh. by James Allen. Yeah, that's a that this one's unbelievable. Like, again, these are all. These are all world class books, and uh, this book was written in 1902. Wow. And it's it, the book is like really short, and it's all about you know controlling your, your thoughts. And he, you know, he's the first guy I heard say you know thoughts are things, mm-hmm. and they, they have energy and they have power, and your thoughts create your reality. And whether it's you know health or wealth or you know all all of these things. If you have all these blessings in your life, it's because you're thinking good thoughts. And if you, right now, if you, you're not having uh, abundance, you're having illness or whatever, it's because your thoughts are messed up. So it's a, it's a warning sign to uh, basically you know, get back on the right path. But uh, the one thing about this book, it's like it's all it's tiny, but it's like it has the, the wisdom. It could be like you know, another thousand pages longer. That's how Don good. I, I like this book. And again, um, it's a masterpiece. Um, what are your thoughts on it, Constance? Well, when, you know, I, I, I've heard, you know, the Bible says, as a man or a woman thinketh, so is he or she. So once again, thoughts are energy. We vibrate them out into the universe. And James Allen just talks about that your actions are really outgrowths of what you what you thought, what you're constantly thinking. And he felt like that your thoughts is so powerful, are so powerful that it can change your 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 circumstances. And we already know in quantum physics that your thoughts can impact and change matter and so he he, he believed that thoughts can keep you young uh, thoughts can keep you healthy and, and that you have to learn how to become the master of your own mind 
And, and that's why, once again, I use me. I just chose not to let my mind roam all around. I chose to think about how great my brother was, all the wonderful stuff he did, you know, and all of that. And so once again, it shows us, Pete, how God has given us this wonderful power to, to choose what we think because really your thoughts become things over time and they materialize in your life. Exactly, Constance. And, and and just so everyone knows, it's you know it, it takes it you know it takes time because if you've been if you've been thinking negative thoughts for the last thirty years, mm-hmm. well you know in ten minutes it's gonna it's not probably gonna change that quickly, but it doesn't take another thirty years to cancel out the thirty years you've been thinking negatively. You can you, you start thinking to, you start thinking the right way today, tomorrow and the next day after that is just going to get better for you. You know, and that's why I think it's so great. You know, sometimes during my hour power, I'll just choose to think certain things. You know, I'll choose to think about something. Uh, I I remember one time I just made a decision. I'm going to think about pink diamonds. I don't know why I did that. I just did, you know, just making my mind conform to what I wanted to think like. And so the more you read these books, the more you immerse and you saturate uh, yourself in these books. Just imagine we're giving you 27 ebooks. What would your life look like at the end of the year if you immersed? And 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 just became one with the principles in this book. It would be phenomenal. Exactly, Constance. The and one of the things that is been so great because we we've been friends for for a number of years mm-hmm. is to see people who have um, listened to your show and then they're they're interested in learning more mm-hmm. and they keep listening to the show. They take the actions that we're talking about. And in a year or less, their life is completely changed. If you want, you know, if you want proof of this, guys, hop onto our, you know, my YouTube channel, and uh, and all these the success secrets or success stories that are being shared by the listeners um, and people who read my book actually all came from Constance Arnold's show. So it's just like they did it; you can do it too. You know, and it's it, a year is like nothing. So right. if you want the life of your dreams, well, you need to start. You need to start today. And, you, you know, and with this this gift of the 27 uh, Law of Attraction Classics, um, you don't need anything else except, you know, taking the taking the time and, you know, controlling your thoughts and uh, having gratitude. And yeah. you'll you'll be the next. Uh, I look forward to having uh, you send me a, a tape off your iPhone. A short, short video telling, me, telling us about how great um, life is. So it's um, it's so doable. I hope you guys will take the action. Yeah. What's our next book we're gonna talk about, Pete? Okay. Well, this is a this is kind of wild, Constance. It's um, we're gonna talk about the science of getting rich by Wallace mm. Waddles. And one of the big things about this book, it was funny. It was uh, well, it's not really funny, but actually, this is the book uh, that inspired Rhonda Byrne, who created the movie The Secret, that mm-hmm. many of the listeners have have um, have seen, and which is a, a phenomenal law of attraction um, overview. I think it's you know, it's it's like it's almost like reading fifty books. Uh, she jammed the, so much good information into that movie, and, and she was inspired by it by the uh, the science of getting rich. So it's you know, obviously uh, it made an impression. On Rhonda, uh, one of the things I really like about this book is it's really about taking your mind. It's it, it's about getting rich. Don't get me wrong, but it's really about achieving what you desire. And one of the big things um, Wallace Wallace talked about was just be, is the power of focus. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like whatever you desire. It's like his his technique was you think about that all the time. All the time, it's like it's like success is it's it's almost like the like jihad. It's like no matter what, all I'm going to do is I'm going to think about what I desire and I'm going to see it in my mind's eye as as being achieved. And in in in, in short, it absolutely all works. And um, I think one of the funniest things for me was back in um he wrote this thing in 1910, wow. and what he's what he said was. In the book, it's like don't 
read the newspaper. So back mm-hmm. then, that was like the only thing of news. And he just said, all it's going to do is distract you. There's no good news in it whatsoever. He goes, it's not news. It's just bad stuff. And he goes, you don't need to waste your time reading it. So think about what Walsh is saying. And look at today. It's just like you could get – you could spend eight hours a day watching – bad news on television and think it's normal. Well, it's not doing anything to help you achieve success. It's just gluing you to the, to the tube. So like, you know, stay tuned. We, you know, then some more commercials and we're back with more bad news. I mean, you know, it's like, it was the same way shoot a hundred years ago. Uh, and fortunately they just had one uh, meteor outlet. So, you know, try to, you know, try to stay focused and try to tune out the bad news. Well, you know, I like it that he says that the, the getting rich is an exact science and and it's mathematical and that it's like math and like the laws of addition and subtraction. And, and so these are all, once again, fixed laws. And he says that anybody can be rich. And, and uh, he talked again about really directing your thoughts. And, and how your thoughts really trigger the process of creating of creation because when you send the thought out vibrate it out it really uh, creates an impression on your subconscious and he said that all human beings are like thinking centers and that we can choose to think a certain way you can you can choose to think you know i will receive downloads or ideas where i can serve others and become rich and then he also talked a lot about faith and gratitude where i know we don't have time to go in there but that was just a common thread in all of the books about you know it is a science and, and and that um, really how you have faith and gratitude and really just to have a clear, consistent mind of what you want. And, and, and the more you stick with that, it'll happen for you. Oh, that that was a that was an excellent job describing that constance. You know, it, and it's true. It, it's the science. It is a science. And it's just like with scientific certainty, that was his whole preface it was just like if you do what i'm telling you in this book you will get rich period it was wow. it, you know it, and that's just it, it's perfect because it you know ha- having success in Waddle's mind it, it was all it was a process and it was all it was it's like a recipe to make a, a cake or something like that where it's just like you follow these steps like out of the ingredients and following the directions in the recipe, you're going to have a wonderful taste in cake. And it's not, you know, it's not chance. It's it's science and it's working with the, the laws of the universe. Right. And I'm going to say it again. These are fixed laws. If you live in, in, in India, if you live in Africa, you know, I think of our friend David Jacondi. And I re-aired him last week on my show, Happy Pocket Full of Money. He lives in Kenya, which he said is, um, you know, some people would consider not such a wealthy country. But he fixed his mind. And really, God puts everybody on, on, on a level playing skill and, and playing ground. And I'm not saying that some of you don't have you know, difficult circumstances, situation. I'm not saying that, but nobody can take away your mind and your thinking. Oh, that, that's David. Such a wonderful example, Constance. Um, for the guys who don't know Ga- David or you haven't listened to that show, uh, Dave wrote a, an amazing book called A Happy Pocket Full of Money. Uh, mm-hmm. It didn't make our top ten list. Sorry, David, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure it will. It will it's, I'm sure it will in, in time. Yeah. Um, but the whole thing. Uh, David proved was, you know, uh, location is, uh, doesn't determine where you're going to be. Mm-hmm. You know, David, you know, he was born in Kenya. He went to college in, in Florida and here in the United States. And I believe now he's living in Australia. I think so. And yeah. And it's just like he started off with, you know, like challenges. Absolutely. It's like, you know, Kenya's not the most um, wealthy country. And that didn't stop David from creating his reality. And we also have another, we have one of our listeners, um, I'm hoping to get a uh, testimonial video from uh, our, our friend Gracie, who's in South Africa. Mm-hmm. And this 
this lady is a manifesting machine. It's like, you know, she, she might, she might be starting off in Africa, but it, you know, where she's going to go. Well, it's, uh, she's on the success train. So yeah. um, keep doing the great work, Gracie. And yeah. cause you're, you're an excellent example for everyone. Okay. What's our next book? Oh, this is a big one, Constance. This is the the Science of Mind by Ernest Holmes. Oh um, my God! <laughs> yeah, and just 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 so you guys know this, Constance and I both read this book every single day. So uh, if you want, you know, if you want proof the proof that it works, well, I wouldn't be reading this thing if it wasn't awesome, and neither would Constance. Um, this this book actually was the. Uh, it's so good. It was actually the the beginning of the new thought movement. And it actually uh, became the, the book that um, basically was the foundation for the church of religious, religious science, uh, which is now called the centers for spiritual living. And it's not, don't, it's not to be confused with Christian science. That's a different religion, Mm -hmm. but this is like a new thought thing. And it's almost like they're, it's almost like their Bible. But what is so cool about this book is it really explains to, to everyone in you know who reads the book, the, the, basically it's like we're all one. It's we're it's a we're t- it's unity. We every one of us is connected to each other, and everything happens in our experience happens through the thoughts thoughts we think, the beliefs we hold, and and, and or the or and going the other way or the or the fears we have because it's like essentially Ernest Holmes really laid out that I know this is. Consciousness is a little hard to comprehend for some people, Jim. But just imagine that everything is happening inside one giant mind, and we're a piece of that mind. And we have the ability to control our health, our success, anything in our experience through controlling our thoughts. And he really just broke it down big time. Yeah, and you know, and I'm looking at the book right now. It looks like a they call it the Bob. It's it's 700 pages the original science of mind and i have never finished reading he has charts on how to manifest he breaks down thought i mean it is so detailed and and i love it because he talks about the law of the mind and how to do a spiritual mind treatment if like you I have something going on. He just says that you should just sit in one place and treat your mind. And how do you do that? For example, we just use money. You treat your mind by thinking and saying and seeing there is only abundance. I'm one with all of there is. And so you treat yourself. Uh, And he talks a lot about that. He talks about, you know, having a mental equivalent. That means that whatever you can see, embrace, and embody, you can have it. And and so it's it's so deep and it's so much to read. Uh, If you read through this book, your life would be totally changed. I have never read through the whole book, Pete. Oh, no, I haven't either, Constance. um, And for the listeners who haven't seen this book, in the excuse me, in the beginning of the original book, there's a a section called the 360, 365 days of the science of mind, and there's mm-hmm. also another book with a similar title. And what it what it gives you is a, a small reading assignment for every single day of the year, mm-hmm. and it's it's awesome because it it brings you through the book um, over a year's time, and you're still not reading the whole book. You're just jumping here and there but where you're at in the, those different sections you can really dial into wherever you need help working with spirit uh to achieve whatever you desire and cause i love the uh, self-help affirmations in the oh, yeah. back wow this i i read just so you guys know there's a handful of those things i read every single day and they fire me up uh, mm-hmm. so and it's just like you know it's like I'm here working with spirit. Thank you. And, uh, and I'm telling you, my life is, I, it's just miraculous. So it's, you know, if you want, you want to achieve anything, uh, have gratitude, you stay focused and read this book every single day. And, um, you know, you, your life will become magical. I mean, yeah. it, that's just how it is. It's, it's just phenomenal. Woohoo! 
I'm getting excited. I'm already excited. Okay, Pete, what's our next book? Okay, the um, this is a book that I just uh, read recently. Uh, well, within the last two years, I had never heard of this one, uh, and I don't know how I missed it. Uh, but actually, you know what, Conscious? Uh, the book is called The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shin, and that was written in 1925. Oh, Florence, and, uh, Florence is my girl. I don't know how oh, you yeah. missed that, Pete. Well, you know what? I, Causes actually, this is what um, happened for me. I was listening to your show, uh, your first show with Justin Perry. I think it was about two years ago, mm -hmm. and, and you guys brought up this book, and I'm like, "How did I miss that book?" So that's uh, that's what prompted me to buy it. So I thank you because uh, you know this book is awesome, and one of the things I love about it is like this thing was written back in 1925 uh, by a woman. And in, at that time, in, that, in the space of new thought, and everything was, it was, all, it was all a guy's game. Mm -hmm. And this lady crushed it, you know. She was just like, she was way ahead of her time. And, uh, and for uh, 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 any, like, uh, women out there, uh, it's just like, if you, get, if you get a little tired of everything being in a man's voice, like a lot of these older books are, mm -hmm. this thing is just refreshing. And, and the, the, it's, it's basically, a, a, you know, you, you this, she's telling you how to play the game. You play the game with your mind. You know that's how you you either win the game of life or you lose it. And it's all how you. It's all your thoughts and your beliefs. So you know, change your change your thoughts, change your beliefs, change your life. I mean, we say this every week, but uh, you know, she did a great job on this one. And I know that's your girl, Conscious. So I'll let you girl. take over this on this one. This is my girl, Florence Scover Shin. She was a bad girl. She, I loved it because she merged universal principles with scripture. And, you know, she's written other things, writings for women, but she talks about uh, the law of expectancy and the power of your words. She has a, something about your words are your one and that by your words, you are justified. I remember one story that she had in one of her books was this lady back in the 1900s who was trying to, uh, she was believing for uh, some China some new ch a new set of china and uh so the lady somebody gave her some old crack plates pete and she said this isn't what i believe for and and florence chauvet skin said put the law of expectancy out and keep it there and watch your words be grateful for this crack uh plate because your china is on its way with your words and so she she merged really artfully and like pete said for her time her books are just so powerful i refer uh, probably uh my clients to read this book more than anything else so so she was very big on affirmation let me read you a couple of affirmations i say her affirmations all the time and and she says all that is mine by divine right is now released and reaches me in great avalanches of abundance under grace in miraculous ways. I love that she always says that because what it shows is you don't have to be perfect for God to bless you because it said it comes to you under grace in, in, in miraculous ways. And then another one that I love, uh, she says, unexpected doors fly open, unexpected channels are free, and endless avalanches of abundance are poured out upon me under grace in perfect ways. And that's why, Pete, I said she was a bad girl. Uh, she, yeah, it causes, it's funny because um, when you give me the example of the ch uh, lady with the china, all of a sudden I remember the story. And I'm like, yeah, it's mm -hmm. like aval <clears throat> avalanches of abundance. That is beautiful mm -hmm. and um it's like you know you know i i think i'm gonna write those down and add, to, add them to my list of affirmations yeah. because they are that powerful well good what's our next book pete well causes i told you the other day this one's all yours and uh <laughs> That it's because you know I, I apologize uh, for everyone on the show that is uh, you know I am totally into God but I am not a scholar as far as the uh, Bible goes but uh, my my number seven is uh, the New Testament and um, I know you're an expert on this concept so have at it okay here we go the bottom line this everybody every book that we're going to be giving to you free 
all of them have scripture in it. All of them refer to the Bible, etc. So this is what I hear people say. Oh, the Bible is so hard to read. Oh, I tell you what, it's just so hard. And guess what? This is what I tell people. Begin with the New Testament. You know, uh, Matthew, uh, you know, with the first five chapters of the New Testament. And I would suggest either the Amplified or the Living Bible. And so you are reading the miracles of what Jesus did. So when you read that, see that they call it the five gospels. When you read that, see that it, it begins to bring faith to you. You understand it. You, you get a clear picture of it. There are a lot of parables, etc. So start there and begin reading that. And I'm going to say quite honestly with you, uh, the Bible says that the word of God is alive. I say that it's vibrational. And whenever I read the Bible, I get something different. I, I, I can't explain that. And so I'm going to strongly encourage you. They got so many different versions out, but I'm just recommend the Living Bible and the Amplify and just read a chapter a day. It's so exciting. You know, you read about the miracles and how people were healed and then that brings faith to you. So that's what I'm going to say, Pete. Wow, that's awesome, Constance. And that's, that's the thing, too. It's just the um, Jesus was so awesome at manifesting it's because he had belief that was just insanely powerful and if you can get your belief system you know up on the level of you know vibrating like christ consciousness then you know it's you can you know your stuff will show up like in a flash um i'm still working on uh, trying to get to that level of constant stuff. So, yeah. You know, it's like, you know, it's a lifelong process. Yeah, though. it is. But, uh, and then quickly, yeah. then I'm going to say, then we're going to move on. Really, the Bible says faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. What does that mean? The more you read, the more faith comes to you. The more you read, the more faith comes to you. So give it a try with, with those five gospels. Okay, Pete, we got like 10 minutes, so we're going to make it through these 10 books. What's the next book? All right, we got to pick up the pace. Okay. Um, the next book is, it's um, I'll, I'll say it as an American, the book is called I Ching Wisdom. It's called Guidance from the Book of Changes. And um, and this book, it, actually, the real work is, is that in Chinese, it's actually Yi Ya in, in Mandarin. That's how it's pronounced. Mm -hmm. But anyways, this book, has been around over a thousand years. Wow! And it um, it started out being passed down uh, through the ages through stories. And uh, there's a every single one is a there's a small parable on each page, and then there's a description of what it means. And um, I read one of these every I read one page a day and meditate on it. And the information is just amazing. And uh, I know we're running out of time, but this is a real great example. The uh, parable says every in ending contains a new beginning. And uh, the gentleman who wrote this, his name was Wu Wei. His comment was, even the longest journey only started by the first step. No matter how poor your circumstances are, no matter how poor your personal condition is, the path of the superior person, which only leads to supreme good fortune and great success, is always directly in front of you. You may take the first step upon it at any time and magically transform your circumstances. These benefits are available to everyone, withheld from no one. The path of the inferior person is also always directly in front of you, bringing its lessons of hardship, misery, and despair, but only so that you will ultimately come to know the truth. At each step of your way, you must always choose between these two paths. The ending of one path always means the beginning of the other. Choose well. Your future is entirely in your own hands. And what Wu Wei is talking about, he's talking about your thoughts. Mm -hmm. So it's like you think you think thoughts of misery, the, then you're on the path of the inferior person, mm -hmm. and your life is going to suck until you get off that path and stop thinking the right way. So uh, that book, it's like highly recommend it. And oh, and also, classes. I don't think we mentioned this before, but um, we're going to have pictures of the covers of all the books um, on Constance's YouTube channel wow. um, uh, shortly after we, uh, the show's released. So mm -hmm. uh, if you guys don't know what the books look like, uh, just hop on Constance's channel and there'll be an example there for you. Wow. 
This is so good. What's our next book, Pete? Okay, I know. I'm like rushing to the, the finish line here. Um, it, the next book I absolutely love is called The uh, The Power of Awareness by Neville Goddard. I got another, it in my hand. Awesome. Yeah, that is another book that I, I recently, recently became aware of probably about three years ago um, from a friend of mine named Wally over in Australia. He told me about it, and I'm like, whoa, I don't know how I missed this book. Because this thing, he, his power of um, Neville talks about the power of awareness, and it's really about how we use our man, how your imagination can create your reality. It's like it's super deep when you really read the words in the book, but it's just like he knows that if you, you know, it's so. It's a, he uses the term imagination, and I use the term creative visualization. Really, the same thing. Working with your imagination is essentially the powerhouse to getting to creating your reality and uh you know awesome book and, and you know it's all about working with spirit and um it's uh, I, I i you have to have this book and i'm really proud that it's in our it's in our, our 27 gift pack uh going out to you guys so um if you want to start off with this one it's awesome <laughs> it is good and and we're moving on but he talks about the power of assumption that you have to assume what you desire, uh, your manifestation already being in your life. And so that means you must rearrange your thoughts, your your pictures, and your future dream must be a now fact for you. I mean, the man has all kind of books. It's powerful. You're going to be getting this uh, in our gift to you. It's, it's, it's powerful, and uh, we could talk about that book all day long. Oh, absolutely. But I know we're running out of time. Yeah, so what's what's I'll our the... last book? <laughs> we made okay. it. Yeah, we made it. Exactly. Um, well, hey, the, uh, the last book on the list, uh, and, re- and it's here for a reason. Uh, it's called Creative Mind and Success by Ernest Holmes. He wrote it in 1919. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, Constance, if I had to just have one book, I would have this one. Mm. Um, I read it every single day. Robin does. My wife reads it every single day too. It is. It basically took all these, you know, took the science of mind with like Constance says, like seven hundred pages, mm-hmm. and it brought it down to like like ninety pages that are so unbelievably good. It's insane. It's it's phenomenal. I mean, this this book if you. If you become a became a student and only studied this one book and did what Ernest tells you to do, you're gonna have the life of your dreams. I mean, he, he is just a, he talked he is, he was he was a um, a minister, so he's got a real good uh, ex, you know he really shares it with people who uh, are more religious, and it's just beautiful. I mean, I I love that book, Constance. Well, you know, he talks about the power that's on the inside of you. He talks about mind in action, how to send the word out, you know, going out, uh, you know, universal laws, uh, consciousness, all of the above, which we don't have time to go into. But, but, but what we share to you with you today is just the tip of the iceberg. Pete, what would happen in the lives of people if they would just begin reading and applying these principles? Oh, Constance, well, all I can say is there would be a lot more happy people yeah. on the planet because, like, every single one of these books um, we talked about in the show, it, it, it's like they – if you start, they pretty much all say the same thing, and all this, and every, they're all saying that you can. It's up to you mm-hmm. and controlling your thoughts and having gratitude and believing it's possible that creates your reality. And you know, it's like if you want change, and the biggest thing is, you know, Constance, I can be on the show telling you all about these great things, but if you don't take, you know, get up, take the action, read these books. You know, work with them to change. You know, work with them and work with spirit to change your life. Um, you know, it's not going to happen unless you do that. And uh, so, I, I wish you great success in your journey. I hope you guys will read all of these books, and some of them are going to really speak to you more than others. Yeah. And that's great. You know, the ones that really speak to you, study them. Become and you know, 
immerse yourself in, as Constance said, and um, your life is going to get great. Yeah. I, it, it, it's just, it has to happen because it's a law. It's not like it might happen or I wish it would happen. No, it will happen. So that's, true. That, that's Pete, the secret. Thank you so much. So this is the deal, guys, ladies, gentlemen, sir. You're going to go to both of our YouTube channel. Mine is Constance Arnold. And Pete's is Peter Adams or Vision Festation. Is that right, Pete? Yeah, either one. You just Google me. You'll, you'll pull me up. No okay. Problem. You're going to hit subscribe, and then you're going to subscribe. We will see who has actually subscribed, and then you're going to send an email to Pete, which is... What's your email, Vis team? Yeah, it's visualfestation at gmail.com. And just put it in the subject line, uh, LOA Books Constance. And um, just you know, tell me what your, uh, your, your subscriber info is. Uh, we'll verify it. And, um, and as soon as it's verified, which will take like one second, we'll, uh, we'll send you a link that has all of these books that you can download well, for free. 27. Is it 26 or 27? Well, it's, 20, it's 27. 27 free ebooks. Who does that? So I want you to tell five of your friends who've been kind of getting on your nerves with the, by complaining and what's not happening and how bad this is. Tell your family members, tell your brother, your sister, anybody who is really serious about change. And, and, and I guarantee you, if you read these books, meditate on them, uh, let them become truth to you, act on them every day, you'll create a miraculous life. I'm so excited, Pete. Well, that was good. You know, the show just flew by, Constance, and, and all, almost all of these books that um, we t discussed today, were, uh, they're included in the, um, in the, uh, the free package that we're giving to you guys. So, right. you know, it's like you, if, you, so if one of these things sounded pretty interesting, well, um, you know, like we said, sign up and we'll, uh, we'll get it to you as soon as possible, and you can start working on manifesting everything you desire. Pete, I thank God for you and Robert being in my life. Y'all, y'all are a gift to me, and I'm just so grateful to you. Well, well, thank you so much, Constance. It's uh, it's a two way street, and we're we're blessed to have you in our life as well. The only thing I'm not going to do is come out there and ski with you guys. I love you, but I'm not getting no skis right now. That might well, that's be cool. That <laughs> you know, well, hey, hey, you know, just so you know, Constance. The other day, it was two degrees out, and the wind was blowing about 40 miles an hour. And I was questioning my sanity for skiing when it was like 30 below zero with the wind chill. So, uh, you know, it, it was probably a good day to play golf in Atlanta. <laughs> so you guys can just send me the picture. So everybody, we're excited about this show today. Uh, and as I say every week, you may not know it or feel it. But the love of God is surrounding you. You know, the whole universe is conspiring to get your highest good to you. Uh, I want you to say out loud that something good is going to happen to you and through you this week. Make it a great week. Thank you for listening to Think, Believe, and Manifest. Constance Arnold will be back next week with another great show just for you. For more information, please visit fulfillingyourpurpose.com. 5-Hour Tea with Caffeine from Green Tea Leaves. It's delicious, energizing, and comes in three amazing flavors. With zero sugar and four calories, it fits your life. With its compact size and portability, it goes where you go. To the campsite, the hiking trail, the beach, without weighing you down. 5-Hour Tea, Caffeine from Green Tea Leaves. Release your natural sight from the makers of 5-Hour Energy. For more information, visit 5hourenergy.com. Oh.